Hello, everybody. Welcome to your Talking Pittsburgh headlines of this Tuesday, February 6, 2024. Jeremy Crosby here. Hope you're having a great day. Hopefully you're taking advantage of this nice warm weather that we're having uh, during uh, this late part of winter. And yeah, it's just been nice out there. Hopefully you took a walk and enjoyed it this evening as, uh, well, might get a little bit colder. Better keep an eye on the weather. That's all I'm saying. Uh, in the meantime, let's tell you the headlines are working here today. We start with AARP Tax Aid at the Fitchburg Senior Center. There's still slots available. That's right. As of today, 2-6. How about that? AARP Tax Aid volunteers will again offer free tax preparations on Friday, starting in February, for elderly and low-income people with simple tax return. And take forms and instructions must be packed up at it must be picked up at the senior center and filled out completely before coming for your appointment this year. Please set aside at least two hours for your appointments. Your taxes will be prepared during an in-person interviews with two different volunteers. You will leave a printed copy of your 2023 tax returns, which will be electronically filed later that day. If you want to get registered, you have to call the Fitchburg Senior Center. Their number is 608-270-4290 to make that appointment that window opened up on February 1st. So surprised there's still some openings. Might want to get signed up before it fills up. Capital City Trail hazardous tree removal uh, continues this week. This is happening uh, on the Capital City Trail. And this week they're on Sain Road from Gunflint Trail, uh, from Sain Road to Gunflint Trail. It started today and it goes through the 8th from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And then they'll go to Seminole Highway Bridge and the Badger State Trail Roundabout. And this is pending right now, February, February 13th through the 15th, 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Detours will be provided to reroute trail users in advance of the operations to minimize user conflict. Uh, and please just be uh, mindful if you see any of these uh, volunteers out there working on getting these hazardous trees removed. Toddler art at the Fitchburg Public Library. Time to have some fun with those kiddos. Explore a variety of art materials with your little ones that will help them develop their creativity and master their fine motor skills. Tomorrow, Wednesday, February 7th at 10 a.m. This is ages 1 through 3. Current employment opportunities at the City of Fitchburg, not the Fitchburg Senior Center, here at the Fitchburg uh, City Hall. Uh, we start here with civil engineering interns. This is for public works, entry level or lateral police officer positions available. Fitchburg Fire Department support staff. The new nutrition site assistant. This is for the Senior Center. Paid on call firefighter police records specialist and police telecommunicator all these uh, positions available right now head to our website fitchburgwi.gov click on those job opportunities and join team fitchburg try no try north builders blood drive an emergency shortage uh it's time for you to help donate today that's right blood donors are are urgently needed for many patients receiving urgent medical care the need for blood doesn't stop for the winter so come give blood through american red cross this february and you receive a 20 dollar amazon gift card the blood drive uh, here locally at Tri North Builders uh, will be held on Monday, February 12th from 10.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. 2625 Research Park Drive here in Fitchburg if you want to donate here locally. And February is for the birds. Yeah, this comes in from uh, the Green Fitchburg newsletter, and it says here, winter is challenging season for all of us, but it can be particularly difficult for animals outdoors trying to make it through these bitterly cold months when shelter is vital and food is more difficult to find. Feeding and watching birds is enjoyable and educational year round, but winter is especially a great time to continue or start this hobby. February has been recognized as National Bird Feeding Month for nearly 30 years. February also brings back the annual Great Backyard Bird Count. This is co-sponsored uh, by the Cornell Lab and uh, National Society of Birds uh, Canada, also begun in 1990. Uh, either way, this is the largest citizen science initiative and, and uh, inviting folks interested in bird population uh, and observing them from February 16th through the 19th. Uh, that way we can better understand what is going on. If you are interested in this, go to birdcount.org for more information. And have a great day, everybody.